For my NYP project, after I figured out what I was doing, I needed the materials. So with the help of my friend Avery, as you can see, we went to Samflax to buy the most high-end materials with the money that I saved throughout the year for this project. At Samflax, I ended up getting a set of about 25 paint brushes, a couple paints, including black paint, blue paint, and pink paint, two artist sponges, two rolls of artist tape, pencils, a glue stick, and a black Sharpie. First, I took the artist tape to completely cover the area where I was going to draw my face. And then after that was completely covered, I took my paintbrush and I coated the background of the canvas in two coats of the bright blue paint. This was kind of difficult because I had to make sure not to touch where I was going to draw my face because I needed that area completely white. After the blue paint had completely dried on the canvas, I took the bright pink paint and mixed it with water to create a splatter effect on the canvas. As it is shown in this picture, um, you can see the splatter throughout the painting. In order to do that, I dipped my paintbrush into the watery pink paint and gently splattered that throughout the canvas. Around the white area, you can clearly see a gradual ombre from pink to the blue splatter on the canvas. You can tell that this part is a different texture than the rest of the painting. This is because I used the artist sponge that came in my pack that I bought at Sam Flax and I just patted that along the sides of the white area until it was a smooth, gradual flow. After I was finished with the background and the background splatter and ombre, I decided to start on the sketching of the face. Uh, this is supposed to be my face, but I'm not very good at drawing from reference. So I just tried my best with that and sketched out an outline of my face. After the outline was sketched, I went over the pencil outline with the Sharpie that I bought uh, to create more of a contrast from the white to black. And after I did that, I wanted to add more realism to this piece, so I took my pencil and kind of shaded in um, the needed areas of the face. As you can see, it's really light, but um, yeah. Here I just took a progress picture because I was like halfway finished with it. Um, it's just an overview of what I did so far. After going over the sharp lines with Sharpie and shading in the needed areas with graphite, I took my black paint and I mixed it with water to get um, a light gray color for the hair and just painted over the hair. And for the shirt, I did the same thing except I put a little bit less water so it came out as a darker color. Since my project was based around my achievements and successes of sophomore year, I went through my grades and cut out some of the best grades I've ever gotten this year. And I cut them out in squares and pasted them throughout my painting. In the picture, you can see a bunch of purple stripes. And this is where I was going to put my actual achievements like that. For my accomplishments, 
I wrote that I had a 3.9 GPA in A average, that I'm taking AP classes, that I'm doing IBDP next year, and that I'm an improved artist. I added improved artist on my list of achievements for sophomore year because I really think that I've grown as an artist because of what my art teachers have taught me this year and the fact that one of my art pieces has been placed in the Hartfield Jackson Airport. So that's pretty cool. I think that the most interesting feature about my piece is definitely the um, pink splatter because I think it adds character. The global context that I addressed in my personal project is personal and cultural expression. I chose this global context because my art displays my own personal expressions. My goal in my global um, context are connected because it represents my values and creativity. I want others to learn from it, especially high schoolers, um, to learn from this piece to always try their best 24-7 and always try to achieve their goals because it'll always be worth it in the end. From my global context, I've learned how freeing it is to express yourself in a form of art. I have learned that this type of expression is not only stress relieving, but it is and can be very meaningful and deep. I now not only want to express myself with art more often, but I truly think that I have a grasp on what personal expression really means and is.